Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. I'm James Workshop. But together we are <gasps> modeling for it, Mandy. It's all the way up there. <laughs> We are carrying on with our series, and we're going to inter review interview. We're going to interview the starter set. How do you this feel time? about being a starter set? How do you feel about being a starter set? We've already done the introductory set. Had a look at that. That was for rookies. I think it was good nice. for its purpose. So the price has got uh, price. <laughs> there's a bit of a price leap from where we were before. Price yeah. on the screen now because we never remember the price, <laughs> even though we literally just googled we them really before did. making the video. And <laughs> um, so there you go. Uh, a bit, bit of a jump. Uh, Tell them the contents, James. This box contains. Mm. 64 page handbook, oh, nice. one double sided gaming map, 10 six sided dice, you leave that alone, two Ooh. range rulers, two reference sheets. They're leaving a good bit sound, yeah. They are, they are. Includes 35 Citadel miniatures. Oh, there we go. Stormcast Eternals, a Lord Veritant, three prosecutors, five liberators. That's nine models. Mm. <laughs> Skaven. Oh, Gray yeah! Grayseer, Warlock Engineer. Three rat ogres, 20 clan rats. 20 clan rats. That is more than nine models. That is more than nine models, but they are clan rats. Yep. All right. That is the content. You already done the knife bit? Yeah, you it was pre-knife. There was no tape. Pre oh, there's no... There's no tape. Cellophane on That's this, isn't there? There was no tape. They're making so many of these, they probably want to stop putting so much plastic out there. Mmm. Let's get her open. Mm. So this you, is one of these kind of... pull that end for me? Pull? Oh! oh. Oh, that's more of an hors d'oeuvre tax tray type situation. Alrighty, let's shall we separate these bits out and we we'll be right back. Spruce! We spruce, we're gonna talk about them in spruce. detail in a minute. Other bits, bases. Nice. Dices. Now, I find that the, the fact that they provide 10 D6 rather than 12 obscene. Rightly in that rookie set, they provided us with six. Did they? Which is a proper number. Is it? In this, they've gone to ten. It used to be twelve. Ten is the, is not. Rulers are twelve inches long. That is that is the number. There we go. That's still only ten. Um, but the year uh, is nineteen seventy-two. <laughs> I wasn't even born in seventy-two, James. Don't be mean. Um, yeah, they're like all the games workshop dice you ever get, like you say. But they're, they're not cracker dice. They're, no, they're they're, 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 there's a reasonable weight to them. And they're not teeny tiny. Just put them with the rest. Big. Put them with the rest. We've got, so we got a pile of them over there as we're reviewing the sets. They've got a double sided poster, which also contains barcodes. <laughs> and objective tokens. Oh, yeah. Or is I think. Cool. Wound tokens, maybe. Yeah. Some, some sort of tokens for the game. Excellent. I do like these. One Alan. day I'll frame one. They're always dinged up. Mm. I think. Um, they always make this art, and then they use it as a layer separated between our plastic and the paper, mm -hmm. which is good because it stops all your rolls and stuff getting scratched up. But it means the nice bit of art that you got yeah. got all scratched up. Right. I do like it. Warhammer World in uh, in the Bugman's Bar. They've got like the ones with none of the logos on them, all framed up. I want one of them one day. Oh right, they're cool. We got book. We've got it's sleeved. Ooh, is it got a seal on the other side? Oh, it, it has sealed with it's a Warhammer kit. It's got pretend wax seal. It's better than a real wax seal. It probably melt in the box. We got a book. Handbook. Handbook. The 64 page handbook. Very nice. Which contains everything that you would hope a handbook would have. And more than the other one. <laughs> uh, yes. More than the introductory more, more, box. I mean, there's, there's more models in there, yeah, but there are. are there there more missions? There's a bit of floof. But it's even some fluff there's in there. I'll tell you a bit about we'll it. to play about War Scrolls, abilities. It looks very similar so far. It isn't telling us exactly what you have to roll, though. So I yes. think it's a more bit, involved book. A bit more involved. It definitely yeah. is. Take it yeah. a little bit further. And we get these a reference sheet, which contain the unit cards. Very nice. That's good. Which is nice. And they're different, look. That's the, that's the Stormcast, mm -hmm. and that's the Scaven play sheet. They've also got a little card in here. Um, Telling which, you there's a mistake. In which the corrects something which I actually fell down on while I was building the models. So that's good. It says a Griff ha the Griff Crow should be on a 32mm base, not a 25. Right. And, and you it says in the book, that. it's a 25. Uh, oh, luckily, good. I built it last and only had a 32 left, so I looked it up online. But... That's nice. I've never seen one of those before. I've never seen an no. addendum card. An error <laughs> that, presumably that's because in, in, in the printed book, which they've had thousands of printed, uh, it says put it on a different size base. Page one of instructions. Wrong already. Yeah. There you, oh, it, literally the first thing there. <laughs> the first page. Yep. Boom. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like I, I like this a lot. And not only is it a play sheet and it's got it's got the unit cards mm -hmm. in there, but it's effectively dub double sided oh. in that you want it when you need the unit details, yeah. you open it up. But otherwise, this has just got you when it's just laying down there. Mm -hmm. It's got the turn sequence on it and some information about that. Sorry, I'm, you're not going to see it down there. Turn sequence on one side and then your kind of core abilities yeah. on the back there. I think that's. I think that's good. That's and then really when you clever. Need to. Ah, I just consult the unit guard. Mm -hmm. Very and, good. Yeah, this is great. I wonder if these are in the other spearhead boxes as well when they bring them out. But well, this is not a spearhead box. No, but this is the spearhead rules. Oh, you think it is? It says spearhead war scroll prosecutors. It so says this is spearhead. Your, this also, is these spearhead are not. Reference. These are not Age of Sigma war scrolls. These are spearhead war mm -hmm. scrolls. Interesting. Yeah, that's fun. For those of you that don't know, Spearhead is a new version, a, new, a sort of iteration of Age of Sigma, which is played in that much smaller board mm -hmm. with a much more limited and fixed armies. Yes. Which were basically what the old Combat Patrol start collectings were. Um, and they've tweaked the stats to make them balanced, or mm -hmm. at least that that's, that's the claim. They've tried we're going to find out by trying that. Yeah, definitely. Can't forget. You get one each. You get one each. Because this is a two-player star set. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good, good. You go with the dice. Yeah, they can indeed. And, and then we got way your, the your double-sided map. Double-sided player map, which is... The same one as the introductory box. Correct. Yeah. So again, we, we are believing that these markers are the objectives you use in the course of the game. Bye. <laughs> You've disappeared. Two sides. One has a barcode on it. That's important. It it's is. Part of the rules. It's... For a, for a paper play mat, uh, it, it's pretty good quality. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, it's paper, and and you know it can't cost them a lot to put put these things in. And if you don't have a play surface, I think introductory type sets mm. should always have a basic paper play mat. Personally, yep. I think so. Is that the, that's it? That's a bit. So we're talking about we're talking about the sprues. Then. Well. Okay, we're back to the standard sprues. Yes, yeah, so for those of you that watched the video on the introductory set, they had a different sprue format and it threw us. We had to record that video <laughs> twice because they were the same but different. Mm -hmm. um, and the introductory, I think the introductory ones were option free. Yes, that's what they we... Were, but they were yes. building the same models yeah, they were. Uh, in, in most ways. So we, uh, do you want to do the Skaven or the Stormcast Let's do first? Stormcast first. Okay. Right, so I'm going to go to my Stormcast reference card. Oh, yes. So I know what my units are. Mm. Let's start with the Lord Veritant. The Lord Veritant. So he's got his own sprue. The Lord Veritant, yes. They are a character who uh, doesn't like go. Uh, doesn't like magic. Doesn't like magic? Doesn't is like he like magic. a null type? Like he adversely affects magic around oh, the Griff Crow doesn't like magic. The dog. His pet dog. He gets a pet dog. The pet dog. Not a fan of magic. So you get a pet dog? You didn't show us the Lord Veritant. Oh, apologies. Yeah. Obviously, these are in a, a, a you know, the, in the state they're in because we're in the process of building and painting them because uh, we're going to play Spearhead Me. with it. So he is a quite a big dude. I didn't get the, the kind of size of him. She is. From, quite is a it a she? Thing. It is. It is a she from the from the model. No. Because the body is in different parts because it's got lots of layers and layers mm. of. Fabric. But this model is very broad at the shoulder. Yeah, definitely. And it's a lady. Yes. The Griff Hound we've mentioned before. Um, when Griff we looked Crow. At Griff Crow. Griff Crow. Griff There's Crow. A difference. Because these One's are... a dog. <laughs> One's a crow. <laughs> One's a crow. <laughs> yeah. But they're crow-like rather than eagle-like. Yeah. That's definitely. that's a definite change in the aesthetics. Which I like. Very nice. That's it. And in this set, I guess that, that's your main guy. That is the main leader of this unit. Yeah. Mm. Let's go for the Prosecutors. Prosecutors. Another fine generic name. So, these have flappy wings. They are... And that is what I like about them. But they are not the Emperor's Angels. They're not the Emperor's Angels. But they are quite... So, the previous ones, versions of these, looked very angelic. Mm, definitely. These look a bit more, they're very spiky. They are very spiky, yeah, and they've got uh, a bit more gritty. Slightly more degraded wing edges and mm. that kind of thing, yeah. I don't know if they've seen them now, they've just seen them. Well, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, um, there. they're on there. You'll have some extra pictures anyway. Mm. Yeah, um, gluing these together, I've already done a few. Uh, it's nice that they're separated sprue by sprue. So yes, this so is one of them, this is another one of them, this is another one of them. And the wings are kind of paired. The wings are paired, yeah. It, it, it was really easy to put together because you just crack them apart and there's one. <laughs> right. And then there's another one. Um, 
Nice models. I know that some people are going to um, be less on how fragile they look. Um, however, mm. I have dropped all of these at some point, um, all at the same time, and a piece of metal went on top of them. And here they are. Yeah. <laughs> so they're, they're totally fine. They're, they're way tougher than they look. Um, I'm definitely going to be using these yeah. uh, in future as well. They're lovely models. Yeah. And, and because they're all le leaping heroically from rocks and things, the... You, you're more likely to damage the spear than, than, than the wings. Yeah, definitely. These are surprisingly... I, mean, I feel like I'm going to snap them now because <laughs> I'm giving them a little bit of a wiggle. Um, but they are... Oh, they're good. They are nice, nice models. No problems putting them together. Not it's worth saying, these models... Are, are they push fit still? They're push fit still. They're still push fit. Yeah. Okay. And then we're on to liberators. Liberators. Brand new renewed liberators. Your standard rank and file troop. These were the Hammer Bros, which were like the very first Sigmarites, mm -hmm. uh, whenever that was, and years ago yeah. when Age of Sigmar started. Nine. Nine years ago. And they were very, very strident. They were. They were. They were like, we are gymnast dudes. Uh, our legs are long. We will fill this large base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Striding Where manfully. They've leaned down, you know. They're less gusset tearing. They're less gusset tearing. <laughs> Gussets maintained. Um, that comes in a double hammer version or a hammer and shield version. The hammer and shield version is what's in the introductory set. Yeah. The double hammer version, uh, sorry, whatever the lower set has got, the starter set. This introductory set is. Uh, this the is the starter version. set, James. Is it? The smaller one was the introductory I set. I love specially defined names. So exactly. the introductory set came with the easy build version, whereas this is coming with the full uh, snap fit kit. Mm. This, I suspect, is just the one that's going to get sold normally. Yes, I think this is this is the normal kit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And actually, we saw that with things like the Outriders from the Warhammer, mm. although they were push fit, that was what came out as mm -hmm. the Outrider kit. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Again, no problems. Uh, I chose hammers because I didn't want to paint shields. You were twin hammers. That was all it was. Yeah. Yeah, twin hammers is very thug like. <laughs> it is. Oh, and double hammer, double handed hammer, which is fun. All oh, right, you went for zero. I just went anything. I just don't want a shield. Maximum hammer. Maximum, Maximum hammer, hammer. No shield because yeah. you don't care about arrows. All attack, no defense. All attack. They're no wearing defense. plate armor. Who cares anymore? <laughs> Mate, I, 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 and knowing a little bit about metal, medieval history, I'll tell you that armor smiths, the greatest armor smiths in Europe, would claim that they were making arrow-proof mm, armor, mm -hmm. and they would sell that to men who died on the battlefield <laughs> yeah. from arrows. To bodkins, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's do some kill, kill rats. Kill, 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 kill. Okay, starting from the top then, we get the wizarding types. Uh, we have the Grey Seer. So if we start with this one, the Grey Seer model. So he's a man standing on a kind of rocky bit on top of a bell. It's a bell with a bit it's of like wood the, on it. It's the bit that the bell hung yeah. from, huge bell. Like a lot of Nurgle devotees. Yep, huge bell. You love a bell. <laughs> love a bell. I like the Warp Seer because it it doesn't look like any other Skaven model. Because mm. of the horns and things. Yeah. The um, tails, nice. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's a really distinctive model. It, it, that's going to be your leader. Mm -hmm. It's maintained that look for like 30 years as well. Like, the, you the know what look. the Grey Seer is whenever you see a Skaven yeah. army. It's very yeah. clear. But, but it still looks like a Skaven. Mm. It just looks like a, it, but it definitely looks like a Skaven with horns. Mm -hmm. um, Jay Biz built these for me. Oh, nice. These pieces... It's one of the, these, these ones are one of these push fits which went together like in, in an oh. odd, odd twisty way a little bit. Fits Not massively. Bits. I mean, it didn't like fail to make the model or anything. Mm -hmm. But sometimes because of the kind of CAD designs and where they've been cut, you're looking at them and you're rotating the piece mm -hmm. trying to work out where it fits. Gotcha. I would definitely like follow the instructions for these. <laughs> like, you know, it tells you step by letter. step. Well. Except one. Uh, I, I, I would do that. Yeah. And as I said, from my end, I cut the pins off and glue them. Because then I can make changes, mm. which I can't do if I leave the pins in. That was the great seer. Same sprue. Same sprue. We get the... And I think this is wrong. What do you reckon, James? The warp lock engineer. <laughs> this is it's a warlock engineer yep. and all these print in. I'm pretty sure that that is a warp lock rifle. Yep. But they're calling it a warlock engineer. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Whereas the rest, anyone who's been around for a length of time. This is a beautiful model. So he's got a very long rifle. It's not a Giselle. It's not that long. But it's getting that size. Well, no. Okay. But he's also got like his little spyglass thing going on. He's got his, you know... Mm. Are these supposed to be injecting... Pass. Gas into them? <laughs> 
We know a lot of skaven, they've got like green they bottles do, on yeah. their backs. Maybe. That look, look like they put stuff into them to stim them up. I mean, the cables do run into him, so yeah, I imagine yeah. so. Right in the back of the head. Oh, it might be his, his eye. His power for his... His uh, power for his eye. His oh, chemical power, power. Yeah. for his eye. Yeah, he's an interesting looking model as well. Really like that. That's one in the box where I'd be like, I want to paint that. You want to paint that one? Yeah, I want to paint yeah? that. That's cool. I'm not going to. No, well, you can if you want, because <laughs> no, there's a right. lot of models to paint here. <laughs> I'm okay. If I start, I might not finish. So, clan rats. Clan rats. Clan okay. rats. So this is what's going to take up all your time in the box. Mm, there's 20 of them. This sprue has got 20 clan rats on it. And, it, and they're 20 different clan rats. You can build it as two units of 10. Mm -hmm. uh, right down to the fact that you've got two standards, two musicians, two leaders. Mm -hmm. You've got swappable hen, heads for like Verminous or Eshin yeah. or whatever the plague the monk one is. Pestilence. Clan Pestilence, yeah. yeah. And then Scryer. Yeah. And a, f a few, so a few of them have got options. So if you're only making a single unit at 20, you only need to use one of the standard bearers. There's an alternative mm -hmm. body half to slam in there. Mm -hmm. But there's other mixtures within there. It's like, oh, this guy can have a mace or a sword. Yeah. That kind of stuff. And I, I think that, I think that's so good that you, the no model in a 20 man unit is identical. And I really liked that right up until I started painting them. <laughs> when I thought, if only all of these were exactly the same, <laughs> I could do this a lot quicker. Uh -huh. You see, it's not actually me that's been painting these. Uh, some Sometimes at the weekend, um, I buy Johnny B a, a, a breakfast mm -hmm. uh, in the village and then uh, come back and put him to work. Nice. So he built these ones, been them. Um, and in terms of the painting, which is why they're in various stages of completion, if there's a snag with these, if I was like doing it again, mm -hmm. I sprayed them white because they're going to use speed paints. Uh, uh, you know, I use Vallejo speed paints, mm -hmm. Games Workshop Contrast, same stuff. Um, and it's just what I, the way I'm working at the moment. And it gives you a good result from a yeah. single coat of paint. It gives okay. you a decent result. Yep. Right. The thing about a lot of these models is there's often quite a recess. Mm. The way the model is built, it's sort of two halves pressed together. And they've got kind of drooping robes and fabric and their arms outstretched. Is I've got, it's not so bad on this one, but on some of them, there's quite a, like on this guy mm. here, so how am I going to paint with any accuracy the inside of the folds of this fabric? Yeah, yeah. Um, if I'd use regular paints that just and, and spread them grey or something, or something, that would just be dark inside. Yeah. I wouldn't care. But contrast paints, speed paints don't work like that. So they clam rats anyway. Clam rats. rats. To build in 20 of them. Rat ogres. Finally, a rat ogres. And it's ogres, not it's ogres. ogres. Yes. These. Did you build these? Well, they're bigger than the old one. The, these are nice, big, chunky models. Uh, absolutely true. I also like how, sort of, again, roided up they look. <laughs> because they, they they go out in a big triangle from the waist. Yeah, that's nice. They're so much bigger across the shoulder <laughs> than they are at the waist. This model, despite being five times the size, is three times faster to paint than one of those clan rats. It's just a bit of fur, a bit of cloth, and some bronze, yeah. and you're off. The size of these is bigger than the old plastic rat augers, isn't it? Because you were quite a little concerned. Um, if there was a thing I learned by doing this, mm -hmm. is that the unit is composed of one dude with a gun and two guns with two guys with knives. Right. Okay. Because um, the thought was like, oh, do I want guns or do I want do I want just melee weapons? And I was like, oh no, we actually had to pull one of the arms off <laughs> and realize, oh no, the, there is only yes. one gun and it goes on that guy. Yep, one hundred percent. That's how the unit card is as well. So I'm not saying categorically the gun arm wouldn't fit on the others, but if you look, this that like, that's, same arm. that ain't going to go on there. <laughs> it might go on there, but again, it's very different. So I think you kind of have to build these guys the way that they are. Mm -hmm. That's it. But still, it's like a 20-piece kit for a, a very substantial model. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. I think, I think these are two nice forces. Mm -hmm. If I have a problem with this set, and I do have a problem with this set. You do, sir. I do, is that it is it is nowhere. Go on. The introductory set is for rank beginners. Mm -hmm. The ultimate starter set is two spearhead armies. Is, yes. This is neither of those things. Yeah. 
this, so who's this set for? Because with the inclusion of one extra model <laughs> and some other, uh, there's other bits. There's and quite so, a lot so, of so, other yeah, bits, yeah. Quite a lot of other bits. But as a force, I can't really, I can only use this as a kind of collection builder or starting point that. for Age of Sigmar. Yep. In an age where they're seeing armies which are just a tiny bit bigger than this is a new play format. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think you really need to want either splitting with a friend, but you need to want to start these armies. Mm -hmm. Because I think the scaffolding point from the introductory set isn't this. I think it's like, well, what's the small format game like? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? I think if you bought all three sets, you're just drowning in clan rats. That's but you still true. can't play Age of Sigmar. Which is still a Skaven army. <laughs> you probably want to be drowning in clan rats. Well, maybe you want to drown in clan rats, yes. <laughs> this is still a playable box. I would say yes. this is a playable box that contains most of the things that you need in order to get started. You're still going to want your a few paints and some clippers. Yeah. You're definitely going to want some clippers. Um, mm. But this is a playable box, mm. and it's about half the price of the next one. Yes, and, and, and that's, the, that's the big thing I realised. It's actually half the price of the next yeah. one. <laughs> my, con my concerning point is I don't think it's well scaffolding you to the, right, to okay. the next bits. Because I don't... I think you want the next box mm -hmm. on some level or maybe it's just too expensive if you're a, if you intend to be a serious player i completely agree with you yeah yeah if you want to play spearhead you're going to need the book you're going to need everything mm. if if i'm little jimmy and i'm getting this for christmas mm. i don't think my parents would see the difference no ah right okay oh so you think it's a sinister marketing strategy no i think that it's a relatively budget version of something that's quite similar yes Yes, I get, in that respect, it's nearly spearhead. You could proxy a mug or something yeah. as the missing model yeah. down the line or whatever. This is a very yeah. similar number of models to like the second edition starter set for, right. uh, for a very similar price many years later. I yes. get what they're doing with it. Yeah, I, get, I guess so. And for Sigma, you probably do want loads of these, mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah, certainly you want loads of the clan rats. It'll be good for the second hand market. <laughs> for GW standards, it's 30 odd miniatures for for 60 something pounds. You've got 30 odd miniatures, I got the rest. <laughs> you got you got the rest, yeah. So in that miniatures. respect, but it is 35. worth pointing out that this this one double sized sprue, which is like half as much as sprue as you get in a tactical mm -hmm. marine box, that's 20 clan rats. That's more than I know half it's, this box. <laughs> I know it's 20 models, but it isn't that much of the total sprue, mm -hmm. it isn't actually that much of it. Yeah. Um, they've got a lot because they're only little guys, they've yeah. really crammed it on. Little fellas. Um, but but the models are great, and if you want these two armies for Age of Sigma, this is definitely a place to go. Yeah, for sure. And to experience that. All right, guys, I hope that review was useful for you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.